through this moment In the back of my mind The time we stood with our shaking hands The crowds in stands went wild Long with the walls we crashed through All the kings of light shine Just for me and you I was screaming long with All the magic we made And bring out all the pretenders One day we will be remembered Hello guys! Welcome back to the channel, it's Nina. If you are new here, welcome, I'm so happy to have you. And if you're not new, how's it going? Thanks for coming back. Today we are finally learning the iconic song from Speak Now. We are going to be learning Long Live. Long Live is such a like fandom song for us. Every time I see her perform this live, it's like, oh chills like she sang this on the rep tour when she mashed it up with new year's day and that was like one of my favorite moments from the whole night but anyways if you guys want to see the tab that i wrote for this song that has all the chords lyrics strumming everything that you need that link is down below It'll take you to my website where you can download it as a pdf and if you guys want to practice this song after you're done here you can head over to my other channel where i post a full length demo slash play along video where i have the chords on the screen so that you could play along with me also, a quick reminder that I am teaching another live class next month. So if you guys missed the class the first time, every week I teach two to three Taylor Swift songs and it's really great because we get to play together, you guys get to ask me questions, and it's just so fun. So I'm excited to meet and play guitar with more of you, so that link is also going to be down below. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, for this song, you do not need a capo, which is great. And Taylor Swift has played this song live so many times. There's a lot of videos of her playing it acoustically. So if you guys want to check that out, I linked a couple performances down below. But I will be teaching you guys the down strumming because that's how Taylor Swift plays it pretty much every single time she performs this live. I'm going to quickly show you guys a basic strumming pattern if you guys don't like down strumming or are not quite there yet. So the chords you're going to need for this song are G. C at 9, E minor 7, and D over F sharp. Classic T Swift chords. So before we get into the down strumming, I'm just going to show you guys the basic strumming pattern that you could use for the whole song, but for the most part I'm going to be focusing on the down strumming. So the intro is going to be G, C, E minor, D, C, and that's going to be the same thing as the verses. And so if you guys are doing the basic strumming pattern, this is what you could do. It's just a little bit slower and a little bit easier if you are a beginner. So we got G and the basic strumming is going to be down, down, up up down up and you're going to do that twice per chord so we got a full measure here down down up up down up down down up up down up and then to c at nine and then we get to e minor seven and d over f sharp those are just going to get half a measure so you're going to do the strumming pattern once per chord there so we got e minor down down up up down up and then to d and then to c at nine for a full measure So quickly, I'm just going to demo the first part of the verse and then we'll move on to the down strumming. I said, remember this moment In the back of my mind The town is stood with shaking hands The crowds in stands went wild We are the kings and the queens And let me do that again. So if you're a beginner, that might be easier for you, but the down strumming is what Taylor Swift actually does. Now, I always say that I think about down strumming as a series of long and short strums, long meaning strum all the strings, short meaning just the bass strings here. So we got long, short. And so for the down strumming pattern, it's going to be long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short which is a down strumming pattern that Taylor Swift uses for almost all of her songs that she does down strumming for. So again, let's go through that with G. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short. 
and you're gonna do that twice per chord for the full measure except for E minor and D. So we do that one more time for G and then we'll switch to C at nine, so. Long, short, short, long, short, and then to C at nine. And then to E minor seven. And you're only doing that once, and then to D. And then to C at nine. And so Taylor Swift also uses a technique called palm muting, which I talk a lot about, where you rest the very edge of your hand on the very end of your guitar, and it gives it kind of a muted sound instead of like an open sound. You don't want to have it up here, or else you're not going to hear anything. You want to make sure you're all the way back here. So usually for the verses, she will do some palm muting, and that's going to sound like this. So that's just something extra. You don't have to do that, but that is what Taylor Swift is doing. If you guys want to know more about the strumming and palm muting, I have a whole video dedicated to strumming up here, but that's just an extra something that can challenge you a little bit more. So let's go through the chord progression a little bit faster with the down strumming. We'll go through it once and then we'll demo the first verse. So we got G. Let's sing the second part. We are the kings and the queens And they read off our names And now you dance like you do Our lives would never be the same You held your head like a hero On a history book Start of an age. Long miles. Okay, so at the very end there, she does do a little build up of down strumming on that last C at nine. So if you want to, you can just like open strum loudly that last C. I like to do that last one where it's like one, two, three. So just feel the music, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. And then we get into the chorus. Now the chord progression for the chorus is going to be very similar. It's going to be G, C at 9, E minor, D. So you're not having that C at 9 at the end. And each chord is only going to get half a measure, one strumming pattern here. So we got G, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, and then switch to C at 9, E minor 7, It again except instead of going to D at the end it's going to be C at 9 so let's just go through this chorus together you guys already know the strumming and everything so try to play along with me we'll go a little bit slower So then after the chorus, you're going to go to G for one or two measures before verse two. Okay, so it's only going to be a half measure of G, so you're going to do the strumming pattern one time through, and on the very last strum, it's going to be like a strum and cut, and so you're going to have a pause before the second verse, so it's going to sound like this. We will be remembered. I say remember this feeling. So it's going to be long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, and then you're going to cut and strum. 
like that. So that's what that transition is going to sound like. Then we got verse two, and then our second chorus is going to be extended, so it's going to be another stanza after the first stanza that we already learned. So for this second chorus, you are going to do G, C, a nine, E minor, D, three times and then the last line is going to be the same as the other chorus where it's going to be G, C at 9, E minor, C at 9. So I don't think we need to play through this since we already know it from the first chorus, but then we get to the bridge here and it jumps straight into the bridge from that second chorus. So when you're transitioning from that second chorus to the bridge, you are going to stay on G for one full measure. This time you're not going to do the cut and strum like the last chorus. So the chords for the bridge are going to be C at 9, E minor, C at 9, E minor and then on the last line she stays on C at 9 for I think maybe two measures but she just stays on C at 9 for that whole last line and the strumming for the first part each chord is going to get one strumming pattern so C at 9 E minor C at 9 E minor they're going to split the measures here so we got C at 9 and it's going to be long short short long short short long short switch to E minor and then you do that again So this last line, you're gonna stay on C at nine for a whole measure and then kind of like single strum if you want to, to go into this like third verse situation we have here. Okay, so let's do a transition from that second chorus to the bridge to the third verse here. So we will be remembered. to that whole situation. So I hope that helps you see kind of the transition between all of those. And if you guys are doing the basic strumming, the same thing is going to apply for the timing. So the timing is gonna be the same. The only thing that's different is the strumming pattern. If you are doing the basic strumming, it's going to be the same for the whole song. So then we have verse three, and it's going to be the same as the other verses, but the second half of it is a little bit different. So we have the first half is gonna be the same, and what she does for this part is she does like palm muting, quiet strumming, here and then when it gets to the middle she picks it up and she does open strumming and in the second half after the part where she says please tell him my name this is gonna change a little bit so she goes C at 9 D C at 9 and then she stays on D and this is how she does it in the live performance although I think the studio version might be slightly different this is how Taylor Swift plays it live this is the only part of the song where the strumming is gonna be a little bit different it's kind of like you go with the words here so tell them how the crowds so on crowds is when you're gonna down strum C at 9 and you're going to do long short short and then you're gonna switch to D, long, short, short. And then C at nine again, it's gonna get a full measure. And then D is going to get a full measure of strumming here. go to that last line. So let's just sing it with the words slowly because I think singing it with the words helps a little bit. Tell them how the crowds So I'm just gonna sing this second part full speed so you guys can see how fast it actually is and then we'll end out this song. Please tell them my name. So for that part, you do a single strum for that whole line, and then on D is when you pick up the strumming again, and then it's going to go into the end chorus, where it's going to be the same thing as the second chorus, except for the ending. If you guys want to do what Taylor Swift does, she just does like a strum, 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 cut. We will be remembered. So let's just go through that. Long, 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 long. be remembered. 
So on that last C at nine, feel free to just like rock out, go for it. And on the last strum, we will be remembered. Oh, the song is so iconic. And I know a lot of you have been wanting to learn this song forever, so I'm glad that I finally got around to doing it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hop over to the Play Along channel to practice this song with me. We could jam together. And if you guys want to see more videos, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday, sometimes more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let's just try the whole thing again. Maybe, I don't know. And bring on all the pretenders. Let's do a new clip. I swear I have to tune my guitar every single day.